Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can create folk cards for your game. It's gonna be looking like this, let me just show you. You can see there at the far back of the rocks we have some nice uh, moving quotes, just like a little fog. So I'm gonna show you how you can create this in your game. And let's just start. The first thing you need some fog animation which I've created so I'm using a stock footage of of different fox for example let's let me show you one video this one this fog and what you need to do is you need to export this as a PNG sequence I used Premiere you can use whatever program you like you can also do it with some online websites I'm gonna uh, include everything, those uh, PNG sequence plus those free packs of folk videos in the description of this video. So I'm gonna be using this to create this folk card. So let's go back to Unreal Engine. So how you need to start. So I just created this uh, folder called folk. I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna go to media and I'm gonna click on image media source. So this will be my folk uh, image media. Let's let's just call it FogX. And when I double click on this, it will open this window. And what you need to do is you need to uh, specific a path to your folk cards. And this is the path to my folk cards. And I just need to select the first frame. So I select the first frame, click OK just uh, check out the few gaps in sequence this one and click save this is the first step the second step is right click go to media and we need to create a media player when you click you need to check the video output media texture asset just take check it up and click ok so i'm gonna name it uh, fog x media player all right this is the second step and when you double click on the media player, let me just scale it up. You can see our FogX image media. When I double click, I can preview the image sequence that I have. Another crucial thing that we need uh, in order to loop it, you need to check this box over here, loop. So I click the loop and I click on play on open. So what this does is this will play automatically on open this media file and this will loop it. So I click save. So the first thing, let's create material, right click here, click on the material, click material, fog x master material. I'm gonna call it like that because this will be my master material and I'm gonna create an instance from this master material. Again, I'll just double click. So when I have my material opened, I'll just drag this fog x media player video and this will be my texture sample so let's create the material connections so let's start the first thing is go to the blend mode let me just scale it up go to the blend mode select this one the fox fog x material and go to blend mode and select translucent because we need it to be transparent and now what i need to do is i'm going to right click and create a multiple multiplier and I'm gonna create uh, three times this multiplier so I'm gonna click ctrl C ctrl V ctrl C ctrl V and I'm gonna use those three so the first one I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna connect the RGB to the A point and I'm gonna connect this to the base color all right so this is the first connection that I'm creating the next step is you need to click one on your keyboard and left click here in the material section and i'm gonna create uh, a constant and i need a parameter not a constant so i'm gonna right click convert to parameter and right now i have my first parameter which i'm gonna call it rgb intensity and this will tweak my intensity of the rgb and i'm gonna connect it to the b I'm going to start with the default value of 10 
And that's the first thing we need to do. For the opacity, we're gonna create the red channel to the second multiplier. And I'm gonna select this parameter, Control C, Control V. I'm gonna call it opacity intensity, and I'm gonna connect it to point B, all right? So this is my second channel, and I'm gonna create one more connection from the second. I'm gonna connect this multiplier to A, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a depth fade function and I'm gonna connect the depth fade function to B and connect everything to the opacity. And I'm gonna need two more parameters for the opacity and the fade distance. I'm gonna control C, control V, control C, control V. I'm gonna connect them over here and over here. And the next step is to rename them. The first one is depth opacity and the second one is fade opacity. I'm gonna save it, click save. And this is our material. This is the setup for our folk cards. I'm gonna save it, all right, everything looking good. I'm gonna click X. And from this master material, I'm gonna right click, create material instance. And I'm gonna call it folk X instance, mat instance, all right. So this is the instance of my master material. If I double click, I need to turn on all the parameters that we've created. And we're gonna tweak and work with this uh, to create our four cards to look good. I'm gonna click save. And this is pretty much for the setup of our material. The next step is we need to create our blueprint. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click on blueprint class, I'm gonna click on actor and I'm gonna name it Fog X BP. All right. I'm gonna double click it. And this is what we get when we open the Fog X Blueprint class. So we need to set up our class over here. The first thing is I'm gonna delete those two events and I'm gonna leave only the event begin play. This event is when you press the start button in the game. So here, in the fog X, I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna add a plane over here. This will be uh, the plane. If I click here on the viewport, you can see that we have a plane over here. And I'm gonna click on the event graph now. So we have a plane set up, we have uh, our event begin play. What we need to do is we need a variable, click here and call it media player X. And here from the type of the media, you need media player over here, media player, select object reference. All right. And now just drag and drop the media player over here and click on get media player X. And this is our media player X. So now what we need to do is we need to drag over here, release with the left mouse button and search for open source. So right now our media player X is connected to the open source target and we need to define the event that will trigger this and this event will be the beginning of the game. And finally, here from the media source, you need to click on the drop down and click on Fog X image media. So right now we've connected our media player X to the open source and here go and click on compile. When you click on compile, you need to go back to media player X and here from the default value, you need to click on the drop down and select the Fog X media player and hit compile. Now the last thing that we need to do is we need to click on our plane and select our Fog X material instance to be applied on our plane. Click compile, click save. Now we are ready to drop our uh, Fog X blueprint on the scene. So I'm going to drop it over here. I'm going to scale it a little bit. And you see that we have something ugly here. Don't worry, we're gonna make it pretty. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit more just to show you how, how it looks and place it over here. Let me just scale it up a little bit more. And now when I hit play, I can see that my four card is playing, but it looks very, very ugly. And now we're gonna fix this so right now the colors are not correct and everything looks very bad. So let's fix it. First, I'm gonna go to my master material 
and in my master material I'm gonna enable the two-sided I'm gonna save so I just saved it the two-sided and I'm just gonna close it the next step is to tweak our fog card so I'm gonna click on the instance and I'm just gonna keep this window floating in order to see what what's going on in the scene so right now the parameters that we've created we're gonna tweak them and we're gonna start building up our folk cards to look good as you see when i'm playing with the uh, with the opacity and the rgb intensity from the rgb intensity you are telling how uh, how white and how dark it will be so let's say around 15 and from from the opacity intensity i'm saying uh, what is the opacity of the folk cards is it opaque or is it a little bit of transparent and the next two values that we've set up the fog opacity and the depth opacity are those two values that will really make the difference so the depth opacity and the fade opacity when you play with the fade opacity you see that we've uh, disabled this hard edge let me just tweak it up all the way to 40 let's try 58 and I'm gonna tweak the depth opacity a little bit more just like that I'm just playing with those values in order to get the good result that I'm wanting to have and now when I move up and down you can see that we have good blending over here it's not a straight line and when I hit play I have my four cards playing beautifully over here and if I tweak the opacity a little bit down I can barely feel the effect on the scene all right and this can be applied to every geometry that you can build up I just put a plane but you can create a custom geometry with a little bit of deformation set up the UVs to be right and just play this card all over your geometry so this is pretty much how you set up folk cards in your Unreal Engine and how you can use them real time in the game, not just only in a sequencer. These folk cards can be used everywhere in your game. So thank you guys for watching and if you did enjoy this video, click like, subscribe to my channel and wait for the next thing about Unreal Engine to come. Thank you guys for all the support. See you in my next video.